Good morning, everyone. Tony here. So I'm just opening up the clinic for the day. Uh, great question came up in the group. What about using a treadmill after a total knee replacement? And what I said was, there's definitely, you know, like anything, change in opinion. Uh, if you would have asked me 10 years ago, 15 years ago, 100%, I would have said, oh, you know, don't do it. Shock absorption, look for low impact, look for something that is easier easier on the joint, right? I would have told you, the every step you take, two to three times your body weight is going through your ankle, your knee, your hip. There's the trusty treadmill right there. I would have told you that there's other um, more effective ways to improve muscle strength, which there is. Um, I, would, I would have told you all this stuff. The reality is we are humans and as humans, we generally walk unless there's a reason we can't. And so you got your knee replaced so that you can go walk and you can play and you can do the things that you love to do. So let's talk about some of the misconceptions about a treadmill. And I wanna throw at the end of this video a couple reasons why I wouldn't use a treadmill, but the vast majority of you more than appropriate to use a treadmill. So number one, think about this for a second. Let's say I'm walking outside on the sidewalk, right? Certainly a cement sidewalk, a paved road, even inside, like I know a lot of clients down in South Florida, they walk in the mall because it's just so hot outside. Well, these are hard surfaces. When you're walking on a treadmill, especially a treadmill deck, that deck has some flex to it. That deck isn't a solid, you know, cement platform. So there is some shock absorption in the deck. The other thing that I like about the deck of a treadmill is it's totally flat. So when you're walking outside on sidewalks or pavement, there's a pitch to the road to the sidewalk for drainage that the deck doesn't have. And so certainly, you know, it's minimal, but that pitch is going to put new stresses on the joints different than the treadmill would. Now, is the treadmill 100% functional because you're walking? Not exactly, because the ground is moving under you on a treadmill, where when I'm walking through the clinic, I'm propelling myself over the ground. So there is some difference when it comes to that. Um, certainly from the treadmill perspective, especially kind of earlier on, you've got the armrests, the handrails, so you can hold on to that. Uh, certainly it's not a walker, but it's going to give you some support, some lateral control. So many of my patients early after a knee replacement, they struggle to lengthen the stride length to increase the distance between the heel of the foot that's in front and the toe of the foot that's behind. So the treadmill gives me kind of a controlled environment that allows them to slow the speed down and lengthen the stride length. And by holding on to these handrails, it gives them some stability and some safety so that they can focus on normalizing the gait pattern, on walking normally without the limp. And now like anything, if you sprain an ankle, you use crutches, then your goal is to get away from the crutches. Eventually our goal is to get away from the treadmill and just go do the things we wanna do. But in the recovery process, I would say the benefits of the treadmill climate control, speed control, stability, the flat deck, the flex in the deck, benefits of the treadmill outweigh the detriments. So what are some of the detriments? I mentioned I was gonna talk about that. Probably the most important thing to me is that people get nervous if they've never used a treadmill. And so if you've never been on a treadmill before, I'm probably not gonna put you on. And I'll tell you honestly, in my clinic, those of you who are patients of mine can contest. I've probably never put a patient on a treadmill probably in like three or four years. I just don't use it. Now, my preference, and you guys, I don't think I have a video. I'll have to make one. My preference is something like this. It, this is called an arc trainer, an elliptical, anything like that, because you get the benefits of standing, of being full weight bearing. You get the rhythmic motion. There's there's lots of benefits. I'll put it in the video. Um, but, you know, it, it's just this, this elliptical or arc trainer tends to help patients get more comfortable 
uh, more quickly than the treadmill plus heaven forbid you've seen those videos if you fall on the treadmill the treadmill doesn't stop assuming you have the magnet on your shirt and it pulls the magnet it's still not an instant stop and it's a hard fall knock on wood don't jinx me i've never had somebody fall on an elliptical um, they're in control they can control the speed they can control the resistance there's just so much more they can control with it so all of that being said if you've been using whoa sorry <laughs> if you've been using a treadmill um, you had your knee replaced, you missed the treadmill, you want to get back to the treadmill, go do it. If not, talk to a therapist. 